Hey, man, what it do, what it do, good people, man. Welcome to the Street Media Representative and Friends Show, man. This is the show where, you know, life is what you make it, you know. We got all kind of things going on, and, but you got to stay focused and make the best out of every situation. You know what I'm saying? Every circumstance, man, I got my good buddy, because like I said, this is the Street Media the Representative and Friends Show. So I got one of my friends, man, been chopping it up with her for a good minute, y'all. Um, you know, got the Lady Storm in the building. What it what's do, up, Lady Storm? Up, what's up, Nitty? Hey, man, it's a blessing to have you in the building, man. Been, been trying to get you out for a minute. We are trying to get you on the Psychic Talk podcast, but you, we, know, know, right. we know you're a working woman, you know, so we know you, you're grinding, you're doing your thing out there, so we, here we are, we got you on the Friends Show, you know what I'm saying? So. It's a pleasure. Amen, amen. Shout out to everybody who tuned in, man, you know, I hope y'all having a, a, a prosperous day on purpose, you know what I'm saying? You know, just just being able to breathe this fresh air is it, it, a blessing within itself, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So what it do, Stone? How, how life been treating you? That's great. I mean, I ain't gonna complain. Amen. 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 Ain't no benefits in it. Amen. I read um that's deep you said that I like that. Um, but I read a play smarter and pray harder. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, because you I cause you you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Man, so I see you got a birthday coming up. Yep. 27. Okay, then. That would have been this. I see you on your birthday bash. And on, where, where the vibe at? Um, it'll be at Upscales uh, okay. in Forest Park. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see that, man. So I, I'm looking forward to it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to turn up and need to come on through that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn up. I'm, 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 I'm going to help you promote it. I'm going to turn <laughs> up with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, you only get one birthday, one Earth Day. You know what I'm saying? So I know you are you performing. We might, you know, well, if, if it happened to happen, you man, know. Man, you got to perform for the birthday. Somebody asked me about it, and uh, yeah. I might, I might. You know what I'm saying? The birthday, you still alive, you still in the game. I might even pick a few people. Hey, but well, make sure choice you choice to come out, you know. Hey, but well, make sure you put me on that list. You know what okay. I'm saying? Put me on that list. You know, hey, like I say, man, shouts out to everybody who tuning in to the Street Near to the Representative and Friends show. Um, well, you know, life is what you make it. You know, whatever, whatever lot you give and you make the best out of your situation. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about today is uh, money, music, and life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, something that we all deal with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all we all need to survive. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. you know we got other uh, others that are given a gift to be a blessing to the universe, to the people, and how you utilizing that. You know what I'm saying? So you know, how long you been doing the music now, Storm? Um, seriously. Yeah. Four years. Okay, okay. Four years, that's what that's that's what the business is. What made you say I'm gonna take it seriously? I mean, I'd rather say um I did and it didn't happen and then uh be left with woulda, coulda, shoulda. I don't like I don't even like to hear people talk about woulda, coulda, shoulda. Cause I'm gonna look at you, why didn't you? Right. Or why didn't you even try? So I don't wanna be that person that I don't like. Right, right, and that that makes sense, and it's deep because you know we know each other. I know you from both of us was grinders, you know what I'm saying. So I know the I know the hustler storm. I don't just know the artist storm, you know. That's that's what the, what the world know. They know the artists, you know. But I know the hustler, you know, that can say I got that water to a whale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And I actually remember, you know, a time when you was like, man, Nita, I used to rap. I remember a time when you was like, Nita, I used to rap. And then for me, just sitting back in the background, remembering you say that, and then me starting to see you kick out some motion, and then keeping some motion, and then keeping and videos and just doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? I want to salute you on that, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. you know, not many people step out there in that ocean like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Uh, for you, when you think about money, what kind of your mind? Money, um, shoot, I mean, respect, um, living. Amen. 
having enough of it. Amen. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I. Hey, facts. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, money is a, uh, it's something that we need in life. But a lot of times, you know, the world don't put so much praise on it. Where people put a value on it to a point where they don't realize it's a tool. It's a, it's you know. People, people have different love for money. You know, mm. you got some people that uh, want money, and you know, get it. And you got some people that love money and they'll do anything. Oh to yes, get it. oh yes. So if it's selling the, you know, next person out, robbing, stealing, killing, hey. and you got some people that just want it to do what it do, mm. it do what it do, just want the things in life that it. Um, have to has to offer without the negativity and, and you know what i like what you just said because you put in two class of people that i was saying even actually talking about because it's like you got one set of people that are uh, praise the money you know what i'm saying we'll we'll do anything for the money we'll devalue a human being for the money you see and, and then you got another person who wants to use the money as a tool mm. to get the things that they need in life you know what i'm saying yeah, and amen it's different um at uh in loving money or loving what it can do i just love what money can do right right I love what money can do i just only thing i do is i just need to get it you're right so, amen. Just, <laughs> put it to what it need to go to i ain't gonna just say it say i love it right right i know what you're saying though because that what it is it's the list of it you know what i'm saying it's the lust of the money you know what i'm saying the money can be controlling oh yeah it, it, it it's, it's a list of it it can control the way you think you will turn on somebody in a split second for it but you know what i'm gonna tell you what else it does though money brings out a person inner them yeah it brings out like that, that inner them whatever you whatever you is before you get money if you are you an asshole man you get money, I, when you get it just gonna be a bigger asshole hey amen i'm telling everything you everything that it multiply everything in you when you get it hey amen it really do you, you know, know. how much you it really do you know but I, I was, as i'm saying we talking i'm thinking about that uh bone studs and heart. for the love of my man <laughs> you know that thing ringing hey you might have to throw that in the clip and i was just talking shit. hey what was the problem hey but man you know it is deep you know that people don't realize that but you know when we talk about it we discuss it you know what i'm saying um what was what the last project uh what's the recent project you pushing um I just, I just did another song in a studio. I, don't, I can't talk about that yet. Okay, okay, it's okay. A, when I tell you, it's an idea that no one in the history of rap has thought of. Okay. I can honestly say that. Okay. No female in in uh, <laughs> rap history ever thought of this song. Mm. And it'd be right up on our nose. Mm. Nobody never thought of it. So I just heard the beat one day. And I'm like, wow. As soon as I hear it beat, every song that I ever ever did i first listened to the beat just at one time i already know my whole title for the song mm. i already know my hook for the song when i listened to the beat the first time so when i listened to the beat i came up with a great idea and you know it's a great selling idea i just hope that i get the right promotion and marketing uh, people hey man you know, you know. Hello, uh, enough about me. Let me intervene. You've been doing your thing. You know, you've been um, spinning them, vi- them videos out like babies. Oh yeah, we we hey we um we said this year we were gonna give the people more visuals than anything. Mm-hmm. So what we actually did was um we actually just dropped the first single. We dropped the first single. We has it's almost at fifty thousand, y'all. So shouts out to everybody who been, um, you know, working with the campaign, who been supporting the music. We finna get ready to do a promo run. Uh, so we finna hit all the clubs. We finna tap in with all the DJs. So y'all get ready. You know, we coming. It's Street Nitty and the Funkadelic Preachers, man. We coming for that guy. Our promo run. Uh, but we wanted to do. Cause we've been putting out music for a minute, so what we wanted to do was um, 
give the people actual visuals. Because, you know, you got a lot of music, but you ain't got no visuals with it. Survival yeah. of the Realest. Mm -hmm. We just dropped that video. It's at like, um, I think it's like over 60K now. It's over 60K, should be. Okay. Yeah, so it's pushing. But, you know, we wanted to get it. Then we did the million dollar cell phone. That's the one I told you, to, you know, you were doing another one. I said, no. I said, you need to push the survival. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember okay. that. I remember that. Man, survival of the realest, that's, that's actually one, man. I don't think I'm going to ever stop pushing that. You know what I'm saying? I love that song. You know what I'm saying? Um, then we did the Million Dollar Cell Phone, shot by L.A. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, we, we matter of fact, now, okay, Million Dollar Cell Phone is at over 60K, and survival of the realest is over 30K. That's what it is. Yeah, so we pushing, we pushing y'all. And then we got some more heat we just dropped, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, visuals, you know, I feel like that that content, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? People wanna see you. You know, people really don't care how people really don't care how good your music is if they can't see you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying though? They wanna they wanna see you working. So they, you know how people had a little little thing where they want to see who, who they can market. Hey, amen, amen. Especially when it comes to female, they want to see how to. Hey, hey, and, and speaking about female, how what what you feel about you know the um the female how how because it's a lot of females that's been. Female been going harder than a lot of men lately. You got Glorilla got just got signed. You got um QC them just picked up a couple of artists, females. See, you know? Now where people are doing, they thinking outside of the box. Like mm. everybody like everybody likes something they can recite. Now now you gotta kinda like dummy it down. Mm. Like nobody only would care about nobody how how good your word play really is no more. You know, and it, it, it do take away from real rap or whatever, you know what I'm saying? People don't care about a, a lyric, lyrics just no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that was my style at mm. first. I dumb it down, you know, and I did seduction, make it wiggle. She got her own bag. Like, that's not my. Right, right. I, and I feel what you I said. Got three, or, three or four different style, style of flows. But, like, being a lyricist was my first. Yeah, I, and you know what? I think some of the the first music that I heard from you, you know, I remember that. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't just gonna say you dumbed it down. You went a little bit more commercial. Yeah, I kind of went yeah. with the wave a little. Yeah, you went a little bit commercial, but you know, by you being a creator, you can still go with the wave a little bit mm -hmm. and still, you know what I'm so saying? Keep, and, and still keep everything in your lane too, mm -hmm. cause you the creator, you know what I'm saying? Um, we talking about money, music and life. Um, one thing about music, a lot of people don't realize is frequencies. You know what I'm saying? We putting our frequencies into the earth, into the universe. You know, when people hear your music, what kind of frequency do you want them to get from your music? I mean, I just my thing is I'm I'm a I'm a happy person, so I like to see everybody happy. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm doing, you know, a song or something, everybody jamming to it, that's mm. that's, that's what I want. Mm. Majority rule. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the reason you see songs that sell that the creator didn't even like in the first mm. place. Somebody <laughs> else told them to put it out. They didn't want to. Somebody else said, look, I'm telling you, that is the song that's going to go. So sometimes Man, you, you better to say it. your own grain to get everything popping the way that you want to. Sometimes you have to listen to other people before you listen to yourself. Mm. Even though we don't want to do that because we feel like sometimes, like, don't know why I got to listen to them, but then... If 20 people step in this room right now heard a song that I had and I didn't really care for it and mm. we had a chose, I'm, I just, I'm just going on and do it over 20 people say because if 20 majority people come in here from different <laughs> walks of life, they didn't even, they wasn't even in the same car. They mean, they hear something that I didn't hear or something that I don't want to hear mm. or I probably out heard the song because I done played it so many times that I'm tired of it, but it's new to them. Right, right, right. Because you know, sometimes when you listen to that beat over and over and you writing, you get tired of it because you're stopping the plan. So in the month time, you really over it. Mm -hmm. You over it. Right, right. Yeah. You know, so you have to sometimes get people to get you back in that, you know, excitement about the song, the, the same excitement that you... you 
had when you listen to me. I like how you brought that back to me. Because cause when I hear you, that's what I hear. I hear that you like to make a happy music. You see what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Music that keep people in vibe. But then at the same time, I know the actual experience of making a song and listening to that song. Like, like right now, mm-hmm. the song that I just dropped. I promise you, I literally have listened to this song, man, like a million times. Like, for real, for real. No I cap. I heard three times. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> no cap. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, to kind of piggyback on what you just said to earlier about being able to change, being able to embrace others that are around you mm-hmm. and let them help you evolve. You know what I'm saying? Me and E, when we shot the video, well, matter of fact, shouts out to E.I. Shoot, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with E.I. Shoot, man. One of the highest videographers, man, whatever you want to do with a camera, man. The man, he do that thing. We just did a video the other day, man. That sh- it going crazy. But um, I went in there with one idea. And you know what I'm saying? I went in there with one idea. And he came in there, he seen the situation, and he took the situation to a whole nother situation. I like videographers like that because um, I don't like the ones that, even even with a producer, engineer, whatever you call it, um, like, I like the ones when I go record, they telling me, they let me know my mistakes basically instead of doing this right here looking at the time like you got an hour i like the ones that actually jump in and say hey you need to say a little more at least you got chemistry uh, with them yeah you like, got vibes talking with about, them. yeah you can meet them for the first time and they about give they give uh, fuck get about what? your music get just what? as much as you do at that particular time that was our first time shooting a mm-hmm. video together mm-hmm. and when i tell you strong we got uh man put that thing together man uh, you, and then we still was able to come and get a little bit of what I was thinking of. Uh, mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But I let, you know, I, I was open because I want to bring, I want to bring the best out of whatever we're doing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? If we're not gonna bring the best out of it, ain't no need to do it. Yeah, yeah. I tell hey. them, I'm like, hey, um, let me know. <laughs> I'm telling you what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. You know, because I can take constructive criticism. You know. Amen. It ain't gonna, ain't gonna hurt now. Amen. You know, uh, cause we talking about money. Music mm-hmm. and life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just talked about music. We talked about frequency. We're talking about energy. You know what I'm saying? What we're putting out here. But then we're talking about life. You know, sometimes you had to be able to be decisive, mm-hmm. make decisions quick. You yeah. know what I'm saying, though? Mm-hmm. You got to be able to, you can't even time, you ain't got time to think about it. You know what I'm my, saying? My thing, I'm only, I'm going to tell you what my thing is, right? I don't know, is it a problem or am I just going by the right way i don't really trust people mm, I, know, I, I know how that be kind of i know it done blocked me in some cases but it done helped me as well mm. you know what i'm saying because i i'm just not a person that can be um in a group of 10 and i got nine or eight people feeling a certain type of way about me i can't grow like that because they ain't gonna let me grow mm. they're gonna make sure i don't grow because i'm not that cup of tea mm. so um, you know, sometimes be having people, um, you know, want me to be a part of something. But I'm like, don't you don't even really respect me? Right, I know, you know? man. I know what you're so talking I about. I can't, I can't do business with nobody I know what you're that don't respect about. me. I can't do business with somebody just want to test me all the time instead of picking up the phone. I need to hear how you saying what you saying versus you typing all the time. Anybody that I ever did business with that only texts me instead of calling me, they did bad business. And when I say they did bad business, they did real bad business. It was ne- like anybody always picked up the phone, like, hey, how you doing? You know, it take patience sometimes. You know, when you got people after, you know, mm that can't really pick up the phone when you're trying to do business with them. They get your money and everything. Man. And then you be like, I almost want to come find you. <laughs> you know, like, you don't play with people and they crap uh, what they're trying to do. I'm not the one to play right, with. Right, I know so what you said. I try said. to do things to protect myself and 
possibly others from me, you know. Uh, amen. I, and I know what you're saying, uh, that's deep, uh, because, you know, it's a lot of times that scars people up. And it, it, it make you hard to want to trust people, to want to deal with people. Mm -hmm. And like you say, sometimes it can make you miss out on certain opportunities. Yeah, it, but, do, it but, do sometimes, you know, and... um. And I'd, I'd have been in a lot of situations <laughs> even where I was like, man, I'm not winning. I'm, I, I can't win with this. Right. And I'd be absolutely right. But it's a learning and, lesson. Yeah. You it's know, a learning so lesson. Sometimes I just, you know, like to avoid conflicts of me feeling a certain type of way. I like great energy. So oh, yeah. Amen. I just won't go. Amen. Well, you know. I, pray, I plain ignore you. <laughs> if you don't listen to... If you don't listen to yourself, you know, when certain stuff, because what I do, I, I try to get in my try, gut. To, try to spirit by the spirit. Yeah, you, you every know? time I do hey. my gut, I have a gut feeling I don't follow it. Something happened every time I be like, oh my God. And see, but I that means you, you got enough experience with that mm -hmm. gut feeling to know to trust that gut mm -hmm. feeling. You know what I'm saying? We talking about, we talking about life. You know what I'm saying? That good experience, that good experience can be such a great teacher for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That when you get in those type of situations, like in the beginning, like how I learned to be led by the even, spirit. Even controlling situations, like I, I, done, I, I done had situations where I done got around people that just they wanted to have that up over me, you know. I so bet there's they people can have that control over me, but I just don't give it to nobody like that easily. Like, amen. I just can't you know? Amen, amen. And that's when I say you gotta try the spirit by the spirit. How I learned how to be led on a lot of stuff that I do. Once I done fell on my face a couple of times, mm -hmm. and then I said, "Dang man, something told me not to do it." And then I I learned from those mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of keep going through the same different things again. You know what I'm saying? And, and I got a point in my life where I said, "I'm I'm tired of effing up." You know? Right, right. right so right. I, I'm just not gonna get into that. You know, but I'm not a person like most people. If uh, somebody do something to them, they got to put them on front street. No, because um. Uh, my thing is, I believe in vengeance is his. So everybody that I done, uh, <laughs> did me wrong, I just seen them go down. Right. I didn't do nothing to them. I didn't wish the worst on them. But you know, the only thing I said, karma got you. Right, and right. I just, I just see everything unfolding. Because let me tell you one thing about a person that does people dirty. You ain't going to just stop at me. Mm -mm. You gonna, So I sat back and seen the same person who hurt me did the same thing to others, but others put them on front street. Mm. And I, but I did sit back and say, mm, I said, I ain't even have to. Right. I didn't do what I really wanted to do. Right. It'd be like just, that. Because I can't do nobody like that, you know. Right. Because I'm like, you know. Yeah, like you said, it the vengeance. It's just me. You're going to do it to somebody else. The vengeance is. And I seen, I seen that. And uh. I seen other people like, Dawn, just getting on, buddy, just getting on them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting back looking like, Mm. Like, dang, like you just really do this with everybody. You know? Right, right, right. <laughs> let me tell you, let me ask you this. Um, when we talk about life situations, like problems, you know, a lot of times people focus on problems. And I know I ain't the only one that did this or do this. A lot of times people focus on problems more than they focus on the solution. Mm -hmm. Just think about how many times something that ain't been happening or you you just had a bad day out of the blue mm -hmm. and you trying to go through your day but something about this bad situation you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying it just won't let it go you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying for me and what i want to share with those that is viewing to be a person a uh, solution you know try to come up with quick solutions don't try to stay you know stuck on the problem you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. have you been in situations oh, like that oh yeah I, I i get rid of problems easy i'm telling like, you like um you know i had i had a situation um you know i'm, I'm gonna throw this i know we ain't talking about no day you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna throw this and i had a situation where make the long story short i was dating this guy I had been like by a year or whatever you know just because you know, the guy want to carry on and carry on, so he he told lies, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, doing the same thing keep happening over and over and over. And I'm like, okay, if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to get the same result. Mm -hmm. So I was like, he ain't going to leave me alone, so I got to leave him alone. Mm. So 
I honestly say I, <laughs> that day when I started my mind, I'm gonna leave him alone with June. June the 19th, the other year. Now, it did past June mm. this time. You know what I'm saying? I did it. No calling, no testing, no nothing. Mm. You know, anything you can do over 21 days is a wrap. Mm. I know? like that. So, you hey, so you believe you believe truth in that right there? I, I wasn't counting 21 days. I just had it in my he head every day. Right. Don't let that go because the dude it was causing problem right like, were messy you know, right messy. right i can't you know it, you know one thing messy female but messy guys are worse man energy energy is energy is everything so you you let me ask you this so you feel like by you stepping back like you did that solved that problem it solved my problem he still Amen. got the same problem he had with the same individual but I'm good. Amen. Amen. I'm great. You know, <laughs> I wasn't their problem. They do that stuff they do, you know, but Amen. Uh, Amen. But guess what? If you have if you had a problem and you was around me and you still got the same problem, you the problem that you got a year later, even after that, was gonna, you know, continue to go on, you like that problem. Amen. You chose that problem. Sometimes people like it. Amen. They begin to love it. Amen. Amen. You know, so guess what? At the end of the day, that let me know that you were still gonna do that regardless. Right. But but it just took so somebody had to tap out. I tapped out. Hey Amen. You, you know? and, and you and, and instead of focusing on the the problem, you came with a solution. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yes, man. I, Amen. It was crazy because see the guy wanted me to stop being accessible to people. Mm. You know, wanted me to stop rapping, uh, offer me so much money a month. Mm to even to stop even doing what I'm doing. Lord have mercy. And so hey, <laughs> what about my dream? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy, man. When we did yeah, well, down for everything I did at first, you know, yeah. down for everything I did, but after that you know, everything change when a person have, get feelings for you. you know? well, well, you know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I, I can say this with a lot of fellas, you know, before we get ready to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of fellas, they you got some fellas that meet a female in the strip club. You know she a stripper when you met her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You uh, you love you love you love <laughs> you love <laughs> everything about yeah. it. But now <laughs> that you then you did start dealing with it and everything, now you don't start feeling in love with. It. And she might love you back. You see what I'm saying? But check it out. Why now? She got to stop. Got down. She got to stop being a stripper. You see what I'm saying? And now you're looking at a difference. See, they probably want a little, you know, little pat they made, you know. <laughs> you, know so, you know, so he, you know, you know, because sometimes people see potential in you. But they can see, yeah. but you can't expect the person to just, even though they see potential. Now, I guess not overnight. You know? Hey. But some people, they, they'll say they know it's going to take time, but they still want to rush you into it, though. Right. You know, then they're going to kind of, you know, that frustrate people and be like, you know what? I ain't got time to hear it. You know, you can just go on. I just go on back to what I was doing. You know? <laughs> right, right. You know, Amen. You know, listen to you nagging, you know. Amen. Well, man, we definitely thank you for coming by. Um, Shouts out to everybody tuning in. Like I say, man, y'all y'all keep on following the Evan Vision Network. Every podcast, man. Um, go here with my nails like this. I sort of get my nails. And make sure y'all go vote for on uh, LA. Uh, got down big lack. Where is the Alabama award, Mississippi? Where there? Oh, Tennessee. I know it's another state, but y'all go vote for them, man. You know what I'm saying? We, you got a couple categories, right? Not not with just them, a couple more. Where black only. No, uh, we Okay, okay, and we'll be hosting at the Black Only Awards. So, man, y'all stay tuned in. It's a lot more coming from Evan Vision, you know what I'm saying? Um, we got more coming with the Psyche Talk podcast, Street Nitty representing friends, man. Um, Latest Storm, tell the people where they can find you at and all that good stuff. Um, you can find me on Instagram, I am dot Lady Storm. Find me on YouTube, Lady Storm. Facebook, Starlet Mays. Okay, let me repeat my Instagram. I am that lady storm. Amen. Make sure y'all go follow her. Help her run them numbers up. She got the birthday coming up, y'all. Y'all, we're we gonna be promoting. 
Hey, man, you can only get one Earth Day, so, man, we going up. And like I say, man, y'all stay blessed, man. Love y'all, man. Keep doing what you do. Keep God first. Let go!